Richard had chatting through somebody that followed his boat and some kind of conversation started. Um, the picture was of the back of him. Um, so I didn't know his face or anything, but he seemed nice. He seemed kind of soft, warm, funny. Um, I wasn't looking for anything. He wasn't looking for anything. And we just seemed, we just chatted more and more. And eventually we started private messaging.
Or, or did you think he was really sick? I thought he was really sick. He said it. His sister was telling me this. His cousin was telling me this. By direct message? Yeah. Probably. Um, and had you his mobile phone number? Uh, no. Okay. No. Um, at this point, when I got a bit panicky and I hadn't heard from him and I knew he, I was concerned for the nosebleeds and the, the headaches, I did message my phone number to him. But other than that little panicky moment, I had never wanted to talk over the phone. Yeah, because you'd never heard his voice. I, I hadn't heard his voice, but I didn't want to. I, I didn't see that a phone call would add anything that was lacking. It was only going to add awkwardness and silences and uncomfortable. I needed, I wanted to meet him in person. Mm -hmm. So I never, never really looked at the phone, at the phone call. Okay. The next step. So he's sick, and, uh, and, and as you see, and, and his sister saying to you, it's not good, he's not mad, and, and, and then he eventually got back to himself by, yes. uh, by tweet, and uh, sorry to mention uh, to you to say what? To say that he had a brain stem glioma. Uh, okay. And he was still absorbing it himself, understandably, I guess. Mm -hmm. And that, um, they were, I, I jumped, I just went, okay, I need to come over, I need to see you, and he said, Absolutely, but first we need to work out a treatment plan, and once I have that on board, yeah, come straight over. Okay. So that was, whether it be a chemo schedule or surgery or what, I didn't really know at this stage. Alright. So I looked on the internet, as one does for medical advice, and brain stem glioma was pretty grim. Um, it didn't say terminal, but it wasn't up. Mm -hmm. So... I guess I, I did see an open door. I could have walked away at that point. But I I, I didn't feel like I could. Okay. Not out of a sense of loyalty or anything, but I guess I'd invested so much time, effort, hope into this that I wanted to see it through. Okay. So... Now getting into the, the very peculiar uh, messages you were getting about his his uh, status, isn't that right? Yeah, then he stopped again. Okay. 